Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Revelation X Thursday night. And Hartford, Connecticut fans, fans, I apologize. I left in game commentary on. Pardon me one moment, fans. I pray this doesn't mess up my show. Where's the sound of that? Audio. Commentary off. Exit. Well. Continue. Before I start do the card, I gotta scroll through, make sure everything's saved. And fans, pardon me, I got to fix the main event because it's not supposed to be a tag match. My apologies, fans. If you bear with me, I'm sorry. I'm going to double check tile matches, make sure they're good. Fans, I am sorry. Truly, I'm sorry. I forgot how my volume on because I was playing... And those are not tall matches. Great. All right. So the main event is supposed to be inside a steel cage, pin submissions. I'll have to fix his update. I don't know why he's 100. Gotta love when stuff messes up and don't read right. Gotta love glitches on this game. Same thing with TJ. He wasn't 100. I don't know why he's reading 100. If all these guys sit there and say, oh, they're 100, that's not right. They're not 100. I went through and I made sure everybody wasn't 100. So everybody that says they're 100, that's a lie. So... Again, fans, thank you for going along with everything here, fans. I appreciate you guys. So, we promised you guys a top match. We're getting you guys your top matches. Like I said, glitches showing people are 100, they're not 100. When you download someone that says, oh, they're 100. No, they're not 100. When you're actually going through playing them, they sit there and say they're correct overall. So, my apologies, fans. Pardon me. Not the way I want to... I forgot I had the commentary on. If any other matches get mixed up, as soon as I save this and start the show, I am sorry. We will get taken care of. 
hopefully it won't be like this. Next time we do fire 2K, I'm sorry. But all right, fans, we're ready for the star of the show. Welcome there, town guy. I see you in the chat. I see you there lurking. Oh, yes. Well, fans, starting things off here tonight. Mad Dog Omega, All Heart Ace. Two former hardcore champions going at it here tonight. As next time we'll be seeing you on our 2K side. I uh, check my notes here. And where my notes at? We'll be on the 20th. So fans on the 20th and the 17th and the 20th, we'll be back on 2K. Um, we will have two eight-way matches on the 17th. The winners will go at it on the 20th to see who will get one to face whoever the hardcore champion may be. Is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Brisbane, Australia, weighing in at 262 pounds. The Chosen One, Mad Dog Omega. Mad Dog Omega. That's what I downloaded from you, man. That's what you had. And his opponent, his opponent from New York, weighing in at 219 pounds, Super Smooth Ali Hart Ace. Oh, Hart Ace. Former hardcore champion, the current reigning defending. WCC Big Gold Champion took that championship from the Enforcer. Can I imagine Jeffrey's going to want that belt back? When WCC starts doing their Fire Pro streams, can I imagine Jeffrey's wants his belt back? And wants it back in the worst way possible, fans. Ace and Mad Dog Omega. Two men that I believe may have crossed paths. I know they crossed paths here in Revelation X. I believe they may have crossed paths over... No, I'm sorry. That's his, his cousin, Mad Max. Has crossed paths with him over on the WCC now. Cravat and just flings him. Excuse me. Grab by the head. Oh, right hand. Make it three. Make it four. As the arm chicken wing slant on the arm. Springy top rope acai moonsault. Now work on the arm he slammed him on. Nice sweep there by Ace. I'm sorry, by Mad Dog Omega. Since Ace to the outside, crumbling to the floor. Mad Dog just taking a breather. Oh, now he's going after him. 
Up over the shoulder. Down the slam. Look at this. Deadlift. And down he goes. And the Prince himself, Dallas Blackrose, in the building. He'll be part of that four-way matchup later tonight. As Mad Dog going to the far side, coming back into the ring. Mad Dog, ooh, shot to the back. Back elbow. Down with a VKO. Irish whip in the corner. Some mad dog head first on a turnbuckle. Knife is chops. Irish whip. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Right hand just smashed him. Gotcha. Hard slam. Stomping the body. What the? I hear the music. Mad Dog. Oh my God! Chase Blade and and look at this, Mad Dog. I don't know how the hell he's still going. He got smoked in the head that ball bat. Power bomb on the outside. Big impact. Ace goes crashing in the ring post. Chase Blade. There are count of seven. What the hell is Ace doing? Ace runs back in the ring, count nine. And just flung and trips over his feet. Up over the shoulder, these men are on the outside brawling. Oh, snake on him on the barricade there. Back in the ring. Now going again, back out brawling these two men. Got him with a flashback. Mad Dog eats the ring post. All right, man, you stay out of trouble now. All right, man, no worries. Love you too, brother. You stay safe. As Ace with a gut wrench from Mad Dog drops the knee. Drops the knee from the other side. Mad Dog. Oh, then you got caught with a knee there. Single leg DDT. Mad Dog crashed and knee gave out underneath him. I think he has head on the apron. 
Ace, what the? Ace is going to fly. Counter nine. Wolf of the Diving DDT got sidestepped. These men are just beating the hell out of each other. I said Monday night, if you were looking for some great action, look no further here than Revelation X. And the Dragon, a dragon Sleeper. Ace releases the hold, knowing that he can't win on the outside. I mean, Ace had this match won. He could have took a count out victory. Forearm shot by Mad Dog. Pendulum backbreaker now just stretching him over the knee. I hope not, but we'll see what happens. Oh, into the stairs. Count of eight. And, and again, breaks the count. He could have had the victory here. Oh, Mad Dog is split open. These men. Hey, guys, we do have a ring here. I mean, just saying, we do got a ring. Oh, look at this. Curb Stomp City. Oh, face to the mat. Well, the, the mouth on the outside. Vertical suplex. Oh. Knee came down on the stairs. Mad Dog. Little Bill and Dream Street here. Oh, right hand. Oh, he got caught. Power bomb. Kick to the gut. Oh. Just launched him in the barricade. Ace crumbles into the stairs at the count of five. Back in the ring. Fireman's carry, but no ace. Phone reverse VKO. Referee's grabbing that ball bat, throwing it out of the ring. Down with the sky high. But the rope saved Mad Dog Omega. But they didn't save him from the second one. He gave him a second one. They want to see a third. And all heart ace with the victory. I am being told that Chase Blade has hightailed it out of the arena. He just floored it out of the parking lot. So he is not here in the building. You gotta imagine Mad Dog Omega not happy with the fact that Chase Blade cost him this match. All oh, heart ace gets the W here tonight. Congratulations to Ace on the victory. And now, fans, Alicia Angel going out alone. I was told that Aisha was not here tonight 
and faith was home with family, taking care of herself with family. Well, never know. So, Angel going out alone against Destiny St. John, former WCC Women's Champion. As the Goddess of Light, Alicia Angel, going at it alone here tonight. Red Bull, in fact, it's go time. And Alicia Angel is all go. She is ready to take care of business. Former women's champion, former women's tag champion. One of the most decorated woman, women in Revelation X history. I know. Here she comes. Destiny St. John rushing out to the ring. Destiny's husband, Gory Howe, will be competing later tonight. I'm, I don't, I mean, hey, this whole thing started with Chase played getting screwed over, imagine they feared by Mad Dog, getting jumped in the back, and now you guys are, him and Mad Dog are one and one, and that will come to a, the, the rivalry will come to a head. On the 27th at Revelation X Bloodbath. Angel went for the sliding trip. Doesn't he? Reverse Frankensteiner. And I knee the face. The goddess of light is in trouble. Destiny. Touch the toes! Shooting star press! Only a one! Alicia with the elbow of the ribs. Went for the slap. But handspring. Pele. Oh, now. Leg bar. Takes her by the hair. Just sends her right to the mat. Angel working on the arm. <laughs> and now look at this. Just with the repeated stomps. Oh, what a boot. Like she got her boot up and kicked right in the side of the face. Code red. Shades of amazing red. Red Star Press! Another move from Amazing Red! Only a two! I 
Alicia, her, her fellow Hollywood faithful angel stablemates, not here tonight. Again, she's going out alone. Destiny now. Look at the dragons. Oh my god, they lifted her up her feet. He's trying to choke the life out of her. Canadian Destroyer! Shades of Petey Williams! Oh my god! That would have been the biggest upset in Destiny St. John's career. Kamigori! The slide, the drop kick missed. Diving gut wrench power bomb. Over the shoulder power bomb to be exact. Now just work on the knee. Twisting that ankle as well. Angel very tentacle. Ooh. Outside moonsault spring on the back. Alicia Angel was trained by the enforcer, Dustin Jeffries. Wolf versus the mission. There's the Angel Vice. And the knees in the back of the head. St. John desperately getting out of that. Elbow to the leg. Back spin kick to the ribs. Doesn't he spring up the top? Moonsault. And I don't know what the hell happened there. Head kick, knife edge, chop, rolling elbow. Shades of Mitsuhara Masawa. Angel is waiting for her to get up. Oh, she went for the Dragon Rana. Oh, nice cutter by Destiny St. John. Back spin kick. St. John caught her in the power bomb into the cutter. Red Star Press hooks the leg. And no. St. John looking for the finish. Here we go. Canadian Destroyer again. One, two. Wow. The biggest win in her career. The biggest upset win in this woman's career. She just defeated Alicia Angel. I mean, I'm just astonished. The biggest win in her career, and Alicia Angel cannot believe it. She is not happy one bit. And how about this? Luis Bates against Bad Amy. Two former RevX Women's Champions squaring off here tonight. I mean, what's going to happen Monday night? <laughs> Luis Bates, as I look through my notes here, she is third to get her title shot. We know that Cheryl Malone was unsuccessful. Still in bed as a result. <laughs> eh. As 
we await the arrival of Bad Amy. Bad Amy, former Revelation X Women's Champion, won the championship last year at the Elimination Chamber, well this past year at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. She showed everybody that she is not to be messed with, that she can get the job done. She's still looking to become champion over on the Fire Pro side. Can she do it? Well, that remains to be seen. But tonight, she has an opportunity to get the job done and to show that she can still, she's still one of the best in the business today. That's right, fans. Our YouTube at Revelation underscore X. Check it out. Past videos. Um, matches. Old promos. Montages. You don't want to miss it, fans. The eccentric bad Amy. Someone that you do not want to mess with. Well, that's news to us. I mean, all I know is, I don't know what to say. I mean, and from Nashville, Tennessee, Luis. we'll have more on that. I mean, They might not have a third match. They might not make it to a bloodbath. And if Mad Dog and Mad Max are listening, you boys better rethink what you're doing. Because if Chase Blade does not make it and Lulu's fighting in her ring gear, she don't care. If Chase Blake can't isn't capable of competing on the twenty seventh, Mad Dog and Megan won't have a match at Bath at Bloodbath. And Orion, well, we'll we'll have some more on that subject later on but right now bad amy oh mess with the second leg drop lulu's still in her ring gear turn her over curb stomp city she's ready to put her damn face in the mat putting her in the corner Ooh, modified STO. Spring Asai Moonsault. 
Leg drop. Scores both on this time. Missed the draw narrowly. Missing the drop kick. Knife edge chop. Oh, she launched her with a German. Picks her up, puts her down. It could be ready to go to Claymore Country. And Bags narrowly escaped. Leg drop on the arm. Trying to pick apart body parts. And I'm not sure what in the world she's doing. But fans, as I said, Revelation X Bloodbath, Thursday night, October 27th. And also, fans, don't forget, Monday, October 24th, Revelation X Halloween Hellraiser. Kicks, back kick, up and over like a slice bread. Oh, spinning cutter, Lulu with a moonsault. No water in the pool. Oh, she evades that back suplex, handspring. Oh, got her the head scissors. Little whirly bird action. Amy with a jawbreaker, kicked out a leg. Nice DDT. Lulu up to the top rope. Diving stomp. She is waiting for it to get up. Diving DDT. But Amy stepped back away. Avoid the clinch of Luis Bates. Nice lariat. Oh, that was not, that was ugly, fans. Oh my God. That was an ugly landing. Oh my God. Oh, man, that was not good. Oh, she went for the Kinshasa. Lulu went for the pin. Two. Off the drop toe hold. Bulldog driver. Two, no. Up to the top. No one home for the for that diving DDT. Knife edge. Oh, nice super kick. Bates went for a pump knee. Got blocked. Unique pump handle here. Holds on again. And another one. That one just folds her up. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Protect the neck. And it almost spelled the end. 
for Louise Bates. Kinshasa! One, two, and Bad Amy with the W. There's a Bulldog driver and another look there. Just spiked her. She thought she had one, two, and gets the shoulder up. There's the protect your neck. And another look at, oh, nasty, nasty impact. And there's the Kinshasa. Bad Amy with a W. Bad Amy with a victory. Congratulations. And uh, this match was not booked, fans. So fans, originally the next match was supposed to be a four-way, but instead we get infinite James Frost and Chris Danger. I'm going to fans. I know there's guys watching who want to see their match. So I'm maxing out this. Going to try. I'm so sorry. We've had a lot of issues tonight. Well, I don't care what his little message is to me, honestly. Because he's going to learn one way or another that I'm not going to sit here and allow him and his cousin to go and beat up talent. This all started because of Mad Dog. And now... He is getting retribution by the man who was attacked backstage. And that is solely on him. So now, I will say this. My dog Omega. If you got a problem, as well as you, Mad Max, I will tell you this. You know where to find me. And if you and if you think that like, you're gonna run rough shot and do as you please, you are sadly mistaken, gentlemen. And you want to send a message to me? Well, boys, I will send you a message, plain and clear. Next Monday night, Mad Dog Omega and his cousin, Mad Max Orion. Boys, you guys got a match.
You guys are gonna be in a tag match. Against all three members of Heels for Days. This Thursday, this Monday night. You wanna sit there and, and send a message? Welcome, welcome there, Captain Chaos. Welcome, welcome. Currently having had to correctly back out, turn off commentary. Had to refix my matches. Not a good, not a good Thursday night start. But we're pushing on here. We're giving the matches that were promoted. As we see, and well, the fans are getting two cage matches. <laughs> this wasn't supposed to be a cage match, but hey, you're getting two cage matches tonight. Two four way cage matches. Gory Hal, the enforcer, Dustin Jeffries, Dallas Black Rose, and Lukey Murphy. So, fans, tune in. This Monday night, the main event, Mad Max Orion, Mad Dog Omega, the Cousins, will be facing all three members of Heels for Effing Days, Matt Rush, Jeff Matthews, and the Enforcer, Dustin Jeffries. And a three-on-two handicap match. The following contest is a fatal Unfair advantage? Like you're trying to unfairly take out Chase Blade? Trying to send a message to me? I'm not going to have you guys go in and jump in talent. Out in some undisclosed location, try to make a statement. Not in my company. As we have Gory Howe in the ring first off. And there he is, the prince himself. And his opponents first from Cincinnati, Ohio. Dallas Black Rose. 169 pounds. Daddy Dallas Black Rose. Dallas Black Rose, former Revelation X heavyweight champion. One of the quickest men in history, I might say, who's climbed the ranks to becoming world champion. And tonight, I mean, we know Gory Howe, he has the last spot for the survival of the fittest. Gory can sit there and work on building his reputation, building up some W's here in RevX. We all know who this man is. And from Indiana, weighing in at 269 pounds, the World Wrestling Undisputed Fighting Champion, the Enforcer, Dustin Jeffries. The, Re the WEW Rebellion Champion, the Enforcer, Dustin Jeffries.
As he is ready to go here tonight. Last cage match he was in was at the Charlie Tribute Show when he won that three-way cage match. And here he comes. The good boy himself is in the house. Mr. Dropkick himself. And from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 225 pounds. All right, I will check it after the show. Lukey Murphy, Mr. Dropkick himself. Multi-time tag champion here in RevX as well as in UWA Ultimate Wrestling Alliance. Has been former world champion of main event wrestling as well as wide prime wrestling. And Gory Howell and the Enforcer. These two men have had issues. Looking in Dallas Blackrose. Oh, nice swinging cutter by Blackrose. Jeffrey's getting those right hands laid to him by Gory Howell. Ow. Oh, Fishman Buster. So nice. There's two of them there. Jeffries kicks out at two. Gory Howe just putting the beam to the enforcer. Slide through. Oh! Belly to back by Murphy. Jeffries and Murphy now. These men no strangers. I mean, this is, this goes back 2015. These two uh, have went at it. Jeffries and Murphy. <clears throat> have Nelson. Just folds Murphy up. Black Rose takes a Kamigori. Nice kick there. Dragon screw. By Dallas Black Rose. Look at side headlock. Kick to the ribs. Stomp, jump down the arm. Now the hammer fist by Murphy. Back elbow. Up over the shoulders. Oh! There's the penalty shot. Two! Black Rose kicks out of the penalty shot. Over an offside DDT, not happening. Jeffrey's getting kicked right in the leg, right hand. Pulls him in. Swinging neck breaker. Jeffrey's stable makes the heels for effing days. Won the tag title. And Jeffrey's almost got defeated by Murphy here. Oh, Murphy. Channeling his inner John Cena. Running blockbuster. Black Rose. With a running blockbuster. Oh, here we go. Jeffries. Pump handle. 
Backbreaker. Ushi Garoshi. Border toss. Oh, Black Rose split open. Burning Lariat. Spring cross body. Oh, whoa, is Lukey Murphy getting choked in that corner? Black Rose going to take another penalty shot. And Jeffries makes the save. Jeffries back elbow. Oh, here we go. Oh no, the cry for help got stopped. DDT by Murphy. The good boy was not letting Jeffries go for the sharp that sharpshooter of his. The cry for help. He got hung up to draw on the top rope. Double stomp. Murphy's like, I don't think so. Head scissors. Gory Hell gets taken for a ride. Murphy got nailed the European uppercut. Axe kick by Gory Howe. Forearm shot now. Going for the pin. And Gory Howe. With a forearm shot. Running clothesline. Black Rose in the corner. There's the penalty shot. I believe that was one of two penalty shots. Black Rose kicked out of it. The second one was not able to. There's an exploder by Lukey Murphy. Running blockbuster. There it is. The five knuckle shuffle was not to be. Jeffries hit that DTO. Gory Howe and his wife, Destiny St. John, are going to be celebrating tonight. They walk in and walk out with victories. And now, fans, hardcore championship on the line. First of two title matchups. Blackwell earned his title opportunity against the new champion. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the Hardcore Championship. And there he is. Blackwell. All hell Blackwell. He wants to win some gold. Remember, he had to vacate the world title. A little bit before Chamber, I believe it was.
was not happy about that having to vacate. But regardless, due to injury, but now. He's getting ready to face RFJ Ron Falk Jr. with that Revelation X Hardcore Championship around his waist. And I'm pretty sure he's probably watching. He's probably in the chat. And ironically, he is not. But want to shout to the superior one, Spike. For the Revelation X Hardcore Championship. He hit that head banger. To win the title. There it is, fans. The Revelation X Hardcore Championship. Introducing the challenger from Fairfield, Connecticut, weighing in at 254 pounds. Big Evil. Hail wow. Blackwell himself. And introducing the champion from Erie, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 266 pounds. He is the hardcore champion, Ron the Rockstar. Ron Falk Jr., the Rockstar. As he gets ready. To defend his championship. Newly won championship. And that's what they're fighting for fans. Blackwell. Ron Falk Jr. Hardcore matchup. Here we go. These two men. I don't believe have met against each other. Oh, downward spiral. So this might be the first meeting between these two. Inside a steel cage. All right, if that's what you want. We'll do it this Monday night. Main event. Heels for Days versus Mad Max O'Ryan and Mad Dog Omega inside a steel cage. It is done. Oh, look at this. Into the arm bar. Oh, transitions. How's the arm? And... Oh, ho, 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 ho. God, snapping the arm. Kamagori, not happening. Able to get out of there. Now those cross faces. Well, we'll see what happens. And now look at those elbows. Raining down the chest and neck area. Up on the shoulders. Face first into the turnbuckle. Now just choking the life out of him. And now another Kamigori. The champ is in trouble. <clears throat> C 
see you in the dog pound. We'll see what kind of the dog pound can do for you. Running power slam. Ron Falk Jr. sent to the outside. Blackwell just stomping him. Right hand. Oh, close. Just slams him right on the apron. Blackwell. Seems like he is having his way with this match. He is in control. The rock star, Ron Falk Jr. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Rainmaker. Maybe a little jab at the enforcer. Right hands. The headbutt floors him. Ron Falk Jr. looking for, oh my God, Singapore Kane. Oh, cracked him in the head. Number two, and he sends him. That last shot just went, sent him right against the apron. Floor over the end of the knee. This won't be the first time these men, we have men brawl on the outside here. And Falk. Time to come on in. Right hand. Oh, good night. All oh, hail the king. And no. Ron Falk Jr. not bowing. And now we're going to take a trip around the projects. A nice edge of Matic there. Ron Falk Jr. Oh man. We've seen this before here tonight. This sometimes we've seen that here tonight. Hail to the king. Oh hail the king. And we got a new champion. After two, all oh, hell the Kings. I mean, Blackwell really controlled this match. Here is your winner and new hardcore champion, Big Evil. Hail Blackwell. Hail Blackwell. Gives the W. And now, our second title match, the Sub-Zero Psycho, Iceman X, against the new franchise, Dylan Streets, for the Revelation X Tap Out Championship. And ladies and gentlemen, we also got our another four-way cage match in our main event here. But now, the following contest is a submission match. It is for the World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship. The Revelation X. Tap Out Championship, or known as many as the Hitman Tap Out Title.
And here he comes, the Sub-Zero Psycho, Iceman X. He has held every championship here in RevX, but the tag titles. He was unsuccessful at Hardcore Chaos where he went up against Shocks. Shocks still the reigning champion. The Sub-Zero Psycho got to be thinking that he wants to take this title back. I mean, before he lost it, he was champion for six months as tap-out champion. No one could beat him. And here it comes. The new franchise, Dylan Streets. These fans letting him hear it. They don't give a damn about him. They cannot stand Dylan Streets. The Revelation X Tap Out Championship on the line. Introducing the challenger from the pits. 66 pounds, Sub-Zero, Psycho, the Iceman, and introducing the champion from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 229 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion, the show. Well, I have security all around me here. He will not be getting around me. And if he knows what's good for him, he'll stay in the back and not try anything. And here we go, there's the bell. Backbreaker by Streets. Gravat suplex. Hanging neck breaker. Streets working on the knee. Setting him up for the Streets of Fury. Iceman pushes him away. Ooh, nice forearm shot there by Iceman. Walking in the, the Anaconda Vice. Knees to the back. Breaking up, stopping the move. On the oh elbow, springing knee. He floors the champ. Kick to the ribs. Might be questioning that. That might. That seemed a little low. 
But the ref said it was legal. I mean, Iceman X on the outside trying to gather himself and right in the clutches of Dylan Street's back elbow. No, right hand. Wrist clutch, Northern Lights does not hold the bridge. Cross arm bar. Iceman getting out. Oh, two right hands. Oh, nice Harlem sidekick. Shades of two time Hall of Famer Booker T. Now locking the other arm back. Rolling elbow, streets is busted open. Well, he may, may have had the match won, but we, we don't know for sure. Frog splash. Oh, there's the chop block. I uh, say you guys can sell it at Bloodbath on the 27th. There's the Lion Tamer. We've seen him win several matches with this move. Not today. Oh, no one for the stop. Oh, nice double shot to the rib. And again, hip toss and a boot by Streets. Oh, here we go, Streets of Fury. Well, ice ball, no one home. Well, we don't solve things in an undisclosed location with you and your cousin. That's not how Revelation X flies here. As we're going to see a brain freeze. Put him down the tombstone. All of this. That cross jacket, rear naked choke has the arm book too. And we got a new champion. Iceman has regained his championship. Dylan Streets had the Streets of Fury. Couldn't get the job done. There's that chop block. The ice ball into the pair of knees. Brain freeze. Iceman X, the new Revelation X submission champion, the tap out champion, I should say. He regained his gold. He is back on top. And now, fans, 
the main event, yes, it's inside a steel cage. Justin Gates, the Revelation X World Heavyweight Champion, the man he's going to be facing on the 27th at Bloodbath, TJ Black, the former champion, the superior one, Spike, and how about this? The Ace of Death, TJ Ace, is ready to make a statement. We were told that All Heart Ace has left the building. He is all celebrating his win. So fans, here we go. This is your main event. The Unholy One is here. The Unholy One, TJ Black, is here. And we know him and Spike have had issues in the past. He has a victory over Spike. Spike has got it. Spike got his payback. You know, he, he brought in Bull Buchanan over on the Fire Pro side to help him out, which I don't know why, but fans, he is a former dual champion. He was tap out and hardcore champion at the same time. He is the ace of death, TJ Ace, in the house, the ace of Revelation X. As I look through my notes here, fans. Last time we saw him was last Thursday night. When he defeated Paragon J. Pierce. And fans, the champ is in the house. Justin Gates, the Revelation X World Heavyweight Champion. As he walks down the ramp, Walks down the aisle. Yeah. He went through hell to win that championship. Oh, 
He defeated the superior one for that gold. First time they met, he gave him a hell of a challenge. The Ace. Both TJ, I mean TJ Ace and TJ Black looking on and thinking that hey, we have an opportunity to be in the ring with a champ. And the superior one, Spike. A little different demeanor. You don't see him posing on the entryway up on the stage. I said different demeanor altogether for the superior one. I did not have a good night at Hardcore Chaos night one, but night two, himself and Casey reclaimed the Revelation X tag titles from the pack. And fans, the cell is lowered, or sorry, the cage is lowered. And here we go. Mike going at it with the ace of death. Oh, nice diving Frankensteiner. As the champ going out with TJ Black. Oh, nice shotgun. Gates rolls through. Nice kick. Butterfly, no, he holds on. Spoggling offside moonsault. TJ Black, red star press. One for a springboard Phoenix. Straight jacket DDT by the superior one. Gage with a kick, right hand, knife edge. Bridging German. Ace is hammering the superior one in the corner. <clears throat> Arm breaker by the champ. Just punishing TJ Black. There's that dragon slayer. Not keep him down. <clears throat> it's not mare. All back spinning splash. Here we go. Spinning Tomikaze. Give him the champ a taste of what's to come. That bloodbath. <clears throat> Now Mary Taker, look at this, stone and metal rope, spins back forward, sling blade, roll through, basement drop kick, oh there it is, triangle of death, and gets saved by Justin Gates. Oh, 
The champ is bloody. Rolling backstabber. Everybody's down. Ripcord elbow. <clears throat> That raining elbow, jawbreaker, spiking TJA's going at it. Pulls him back out of the headbutt into the side of the back. Black made the save, back elbow, into the steal. Spike not having that dragon. He was not going to go for a ride there. <clears throat> Went for a fish up. No one home. Bend him back on the palm. Oh, here we go. A driver. Black is bloody. Spike made the save. TKO. Triangle of death. Spike taps. Spike taps. TJ Ace. Made the former champion submit. And look at this. Feast your eyes to the champ. But it was the triangle of death I made. The superior one tap. There's the ace driver. You gotta believe all her ace is watching what he just seen. TJ Ace building momentum. Those two will face off on the 27th. I mean, fans, that's gonna be a hell of a match. Wait a minute, what, what, what the? What the hell are you doing out here? Get out of here, damn it! Mad Dog, get out of here, damn it! Damn it! Get out of here! Get your hands off me, damn it! Get out of here! <laughs>